Discord is adding the ability to put websites into your profile, and it was perfect, but uh, not for long. Now, whenever Discord adds absolutely anything, the first thing that comes to my mind is scams. And of course, the community follows, and people are concerned that this new domain connection will be a new scam method that little gremlins try to use to steal $10 from one of their best friends. And I realized I got carried away because do scammers even know how to put DNS verification in their websites? Yeah, I gotta show you how to use this thing, just for the future scammers out there that I'm setting up, or for people that just find this interesting. But uh, right now, this is an experimental feature, and uh, it doesn't work even if you turn on the experiment. But when Discord finally releases it, you go to your connections, you click on this little box here, and you can see this domain button. Now you click on the button, and it'll tell you to connect your domain. I own the website notexttospeech.com. You'll need to enter in your website and click on Next. Now, when you press the Next button, it's supposed to show you another menu, but since it's not even out yet, I will have to show you this screenshot. But you're supposed to add this DNS record to your domain. Now, that's a whole lot of nerdy speak, but what it means is that you need to go to the website that you've bought your domain off of. I bought my domain, notexttospeech.com, off of Namecheap, so I need to go to my domain, I need to manage it, then I need to go to Advanced DNS. Now, obviously, this is going to be different if you don't use Namecheap. You're going to have to probably do a little bit of Googling, but I need to add a new host record, I need to add a new record, and I need to search for a TXT record. Now, for the host, I would need to put in the name, so in this case, in the screen, screenshot it's underscore discord. All these values are going to be different for you because it's a verification thing. And for the content, it'll have some sort of random number combo generation garbage stuff. You just put that in and you click on the check mark to save your changes. And once you do that and click on verify, you should have a website in your discord profile. You know what? Since we're nerding out anyways, this is the same verification system that Blue Sky uses to get your fancy little handles like vercel.com. Alrighty, let's get back to the goofballs and what people think about this new feature. And to be honest, I scrolled through a lot of comments, and instead of reading them, I am just going to summarize it. The first concern is that you might set up some uh, naughty, naughty links, like having the hub on your profile. And here's the thing. To do all this weird stuff that I showed you, you need to actually own the website, which I mean, if you do, go for it, dog. Flex it off on your Discord profile. But there are even stranger things that people are concerned about. For example, someone's going to put a Grabify or an IP logger link in their profile. Uh, newsflash, every single website you've visit can see your IP. And the thing with these domain connections is that if you click on someone's profile, it says, hey, you're leaving Discord. You can just not click on the link if you think it's an IP grabber. Those are the more stranger and outlandish concerns because there actually are some valid concerns with this new domain connection thing. First off, people want these icons to look different. Like, this looks boring. Domain? Why can it show the icon of your website? So if you owned Namecheap, it'd show this little icon. Or if you own Twitter, then it would show this awful icon. God, that's miserable. Well, these icons are called favicons, and people want them to show up in their domain connection. But here's the thing. If they do show up, it could be a possible phishing method. You could set your little icon to be like a Discord connection, and now people think, oh, of course, this is a really official Discord profile connection. I mean, nothing wrong with this at all. And since we're talking about potential scams anyways, let's just make it super clear. The scammer's gonna have to convince you to click on their profile, then view their whole profile, go to their profile connection, and then click on their specific domain that they have attached to their profile. And it shows you this prompt. And at this point, if you still have no idea it's a scam, then maybe you shouldn't be on the internet. Or you should just do a little bit of research into common scams. Now hear me out for a second. Why don't we make this scam method a whole lot better? And instead, imagine if you could just click on someone's profile and the scam link would be right there. Yes, in fact, you can just customize your profile. Scammers can do this already. They just customize their profile and put in the scam link right in their about me. However, I should point out that it's not perfect. For example, Panly has a, a, a weird website here, and when you click on it, I, I don't even know what I'm looking at at this point. And the best part about this is that if you do be cheeky and do something like this, well, guess what? Uh, you won't be able to actually remove the connection. And I quote, I broke my connections page. I can't edit any of my connections anymore because the link is so long, you can't even like remove or disable it. So this domain connection thing is actually really cool because you can use it to verify verify if this person is legitimate. For example, if it's some sort of NFT crypto website or just whatever, if you know they have an official website, then you can just check their profile.
profile and see. And what's even better about this connection is the fact that Discord's verification system right now is currently on a break. If you try verifying your server, uh, 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 can't do it. And it's probably down right now because I tried verifying and they just gave up completely, called it quits there. But when they do open up the verification program again, they might use this domain connection to validate if you're the real deal, which is good if you're not a content creator and you can link your YouTube or your Twitter. Instead, you can link your website. Now, linking your website and your profile is also really good for people like artists. This user here is happy that they can put their portfolio on their Discord profile. Now, to be fair, though, you could always just do this in your About Me anyways. But hey, we're nerds. If you own a website, you're probably a nerd. And having this feature just really warms my nerdy heart. This is great. Good job, Discord. By sheer coincidence. Well, it turns out Discord actually updated this thing where now instead of doing that domain DNS stuff, you can just add a file to your server. Hey, they're making a good feature even better. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me read. What, what, is this, what does this mean? Oh, it turns out this is a bad thing. Yeah, it turns out Discord's little update where you can add a file to your server to validate that you own the domain is uh, easily abusable. For example, Websites like GitHub allow you to upload files, of course, duh. What it allows you to do is that you could technically claim the domain discord-corp.github.io and have that on your profile. I must have been a scammer in my past life or something because I just thought of a fantastic idea. Guys, guess what? There's a new Discord Nitro giveaway with GitHub. All you need to do to get your free Discord Nitro is just send me your parents' credit card. Now, to be fair, this feature is still an experimental feature, so Discord could remove this last second update that really just turned things upside down. And, uh, psst, Discord, probably a good idea. Anyways, bye-bye. I love you. Mwah!